Welcome to our class on Word Terminology. This will lay the foundation for our more advanced courses in Word. At the top of Word, we have tabs such as File, Home, and Insert. They change what's referred to as the ribbon, this gray area under the tabs. If I switch to the Insert ribbon, that changes all of the controls down here in the ribbon. The ribbon's broken up into groups. Groups are divided by these horizontal lines. For example, on the home ribbon, we have got the clipboard group, the font group, the paragraph group, the styles group, and the editing group. Some of the groups have what are referred to as launchers. Launchers can be found in the bottom right-hand corner. They're little arrows. When you hover over them, it lets you know that you can find more advanced options in these. When I click on the launcher, it opens up the more advanced options. Not all groups have those, but they're really powerful and important when they do, and we refer to them in a lot of our future videos. The Quick Access Toolbar can be found at the top of your tabs, right here, or at the bottom of your tabs. If I click on the drop-down arrow right here, and I go to Show Below the Ribbon, it drops it down here to beneath the ribbon and makes it colorized. We refer to the Quick Access Toolbar a lot. It's a powerful feature that's underutilized, so just wanted to show you what that is. Contextual tabs appear when you are in a specific element. So for example, when I'm in a table, you can see that I've got the table tools available right here, design and layout. If I click outside of the table, those tabs go away. I click back in it, they come back. So contextual tabs come and go depending on the context. The file button right here is a logo in earlier versions of Word, but it does the same thing. It drops down all of your file type options. The status bar can be found at the bottom of the Word document. It can be customized by right clicking on it. The navigation pane can be found by going to the view tab, coming into the show group, and clicking on navigation pane. That opens up this pane right here. That allows you to navigate through the document, do a quick and easy search for things in the document, show the results, show them by pages. We'll be going through that in more detail, but you get to the navigation pane by coming to view, show group, check the box for the navigation pane. The ruler is also available up here. If your ruler is not showing, it looks like that. When I check the box to show the ruler, that helps with formatting options that we'll be going over in future videos. Final thing I want to show you for terminology is on the home ribbon. If we come to the paragraph group, there is this paragraph symbol right here. Hover over it, it says show hide, it shows paragraph marks and other hidden formatting symbols. If I turn this on, it shows you exactly what's going on in your document. You see all of these symbols that weren't there before. If I type a space or a tab, it enters more symbols. The more formatting you have going on in your document, the more you're going to see. It allows you to see exactly what's going on. Whenever you're working with the formatting, you want to have those on. So in future videos, we talk about turning on the show hide so you can see what's going on. And that's right here on the home ribbon, paragraph group, show hide. I look forward to teaching you more videos and using all this terminology with you.